New tonight, a veteran says he wants to turn 1,500 miles into $150,000 to help his fellow service members. A remarkable number for a remarkable man. He's doing it by riding his bike despite being paralyzed. All new tonight, 10 on your side, Brett Hall met up with him in Virginia Beach. It's true, people come a long way to visit the Virginia Beach oceanfront, but tonight it's why one man came such a long way that he hopes is making a difference. After biking 120 miles in one day, most people likely wouldn't agree to a bike race. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! But you will quickly learn Ricky Rayleigh isn't most people. There isn't a challenge he won't take on. I've been on variations of this style of bike for about 10 years now. Rayleigh was paralyzed from the waist down after he was involved in a car wreck in 2009. Nearly six months earlier, he had returned from serving in the Army in Iraq, where he says an IED explosion left him with brain damage. Yet none of that is why he's riding from New York City to Tampa, making sure he stopped in Virginia Beach. It's important to come here and reach this market because there's so many veterans in this area. Veterans he knows are suffering on the inside. We came home with everyone, but after we got home, it, within two and a half months, we lost our first guy for suicide, and then it just kept going, and then the number just keeps going. So it, I need to stop that, not just for my guys, but for everyone out there. So it's why he's talking to everyone, raising money for the boot campaign. It's a program partly located in Virginia Beach that works with vets to improve their lives. No matter the issue, traumatic brain injury, PTSD, chronic pain, insomnia, Rayleigh says there is help. No one needs it more than you. And Rayleigh is expected to leave for the next part of his journey, 6 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting in Virginia Beach at the Oceanfront, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.